Hey all, I'm dropping in for our next video on Schoology and You. As always, feel free to pause, rewind, and re-watch this and any of the other videos in the series to aid you in learning Schoology. We're going back to the update feature of your courses, but this time we'll be taking a closer look at those tools that I labeled as a bit more advanced last time. So pack your suitcases because we're going on a journey to explore the advanced features of the updates. So in the update section of your course, you're going to be able to record audio and video uh, updates for your students. Uh, this is really important, especially if we are going to a blended learning model or a flipped model. So right here, there's this little microphone. And when we click on it, it gives us two options. We can either do audio only or we can do audio and video. Audio only means that it only records what you are saying. Uh, this is useful if you're using a laptop, something with a built-in microphone. Um, audio and video is also useful if you have a camera and a microphone. So if I'm going to do audio and video, I click on it. I have to allow my browser to use both. And it's going to take a moment to load because it has to access everything. And there I am. Hi. And then I can start recording. So it's going to record what I'm saying. I could tell students an update personal high um, if we've been say on snow days for a while or we're in quarantine and they need to see a friendly face this is one way to do it stop recording when you're done and it gives you a preview so you can start watching then you can insert recording and there's your recording you could also type in a message saying hey I made a video for you post. Same idea with the audio recorder. It's going to record your audio so students can hear your voice. We have another thing for the update and that's the poll. So let's say you want to ask your students a question for let's say we're talking about the field trip that we made for the previous thing, the little event. Okay. What would you like for lunch? And then you can give them some options. I mean, there can be yes or no options. We can say Chick-fil-A because I love that place. McDonald's. You could add options or if you need to remove them, there's also this little X here. When you're ready to post your poll, click post. And students will be able to click on this and it'll show you and it'll show you basically a bar graph of how students are voting. And you can refresh it down here to give a general idea of as students vote what they're going to choose. So now you have all the tools accessible for updates where you can do files, links, add resources. You now have audio and video recording and now you can give your students polls.